Oh, hey everybody. So, today's video, we're going to be working on four low intensity and low impact exercises that can be done in four minutes. Okay, so I thought I should say this at the start of the video, but um, aside from liking and subscribing, one important thing that I hope you guys can do is to share this video with some of your friends or your family whom you feel are not exercising or getting in as much physical activity, especially for the exercises that you will see later. They are really very doable, very straightforward. Um, even for people we have who have you know very little or not even any experience in exercising at all, and maybe um, you know this video can be a means of getting them to slowly start their fitness journey um, and starting physical activity. All right, guys. So how these exercises are going to be working? What I'll be doing is changing an exercise on the minute. The split that I am using is 45 seconds of exercise followed by 15 seconds of rest. However, um, your splits, let's put them here this time around. Okay, these are some other options that you can do. Obviously, to challenge yourself, do the exercise for a longer period of time. And yeah, to make it a bit easier, uh, incorporate more rest and exercise a little lesser. Okay, these exercises are going to be uh, pretty low intensity and low impact as well. You'll see them shortly and I'll also demonstrate um, some different variations uh, throughout the workout itself that you guys are able to use. A brief overview of the four exercises, they're going to be here. Um, you may not be too familiar with the names, it's okay because they're very easy to follow along. I'm just going to start the clock in the next video frame and narrate uh, with a voice over Strongly encourage you to grab a friend to do it along with them because they are very manageable. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're going to start arm rotations in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Pardon the lag at the start because yeah, I'm self-recording and I want to show you guys the stopwatch. This is how the arm rotations will look like. Okay, just use your hands to draw small little circles. Let it follow through all the way till it gets to your shoulders. So this would yeah, train your shoulders as well. Okay, you can hear the rain in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, you can choose to draw circles either forwards or backwards, so clockwise, anti-clockwise. Uh, you can draw larger circles to make the exercise easier. This would translate from like arm rotations to arm swings, as I like to call them. Uh, while the arm swings are not as um, difficult as the small little arm rotations, uh, it also helps improve the mobility in your shoulders, so you can mix and match. Up to you. So now I'm taking my rest. So, and we're going to start the next exercise in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this is just shadow punches or air punches up to you, uh, what you want to call it. Basically, you're just yeah, throwing your punches forward. You don't need to be a professional boxer or fighter, I would say. Uh, what you're doing here is just to feel the movement. Okay, uh, punching actually helps you to improve that mobility in your arms, your elbows, your uh, shoulders as well. What I'm doing here, mixing, mixing it up a bit, you know, punching upwards and downwards. Yep, I myself am not a fighter. Uh, this uppercut thing, as I thought it looked nice, but on video, it, it doesn't look good at all. Don't try that. <laughs> yeah, uh, any professional fighters out there, just, you know, Feel free to recommend your video to me on how to throw a proper punch. I would love to know how to do that as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking my rest again. As mentioned, to make the exercises harder, do them for a longer period of time. To make the exercise easier, you know, cut back on how much you exercise and rest longer. 3, 2, 1. This is basically toe touches uh, or floor touches. Up to you. Uh, straightforward just reaching your palms or your hands, your fingers toward the floor, whichever you feel is easier or more comfortable. Okay, as you can see in this side view, uh, what I'm doing here is bending my knees to reach the floor. That makes it a little bit easier. Okay, but if you're, you are a bit more flexible in your hamstrings, you can choose to straighten your, your legs the whole time. Okay, that means the movement comes purely from the back. What I'm doing here is not the best form, looks a bit weird. My back is all rounded. Okay, for yourself, maybe you can try to straighten your back and uh, reach the ground slower. If your back is not warm, uh, warm enough and you just straight away go for this, you might risk some strain in the lower back. Yeah, so just be careful of that. And my last 10 seconds before my uh, changing up my exercise. 3, 2, 1, go. 
Uh, I call these step outs. What I'm doing is using my knees to draw big circles. All right, I use them to warm up before I do like running, but you can use it as an exercise as well. They really open up, you know, the joints, the tendons and the muscles in the hips. Okay, and you can choose to step outwards. And in a short while, I think I step inwards as well. The, the movement is more natural if you step outwards. Yeah, so you can just basically do that instead. Okay, so this is the inward stepping. Okay, it feels a bit weird. Okay, you can mix it up a bit. It's good to train uh, movements that you're good at and movements that you're bad at so that we can achieve better balance in the entire body. All right, so I do this until yeah, my 45 seconds. For those of you who are taking a harder variation, the entire workout ends in approximately 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that is 4 minutes of workout. Nice. Good job, everyone. Okay, so that is the end of the entire workout. I just want to put it out there that these exercises are not guaranteed, you know, make you gain a lot of muscle or look very ripped and shredded and things like that or to burn fat. I really just want people to get into the habit of having a more physically active lifestyle and that's why I just put all these uh, more simplistic and hopefully more straightforward exercises that can be done even in the confines of your own home. I hope you have enjoyed all this content that I've put up for you guys so far. If you want to do slightly more intense exercises, you can look at the videos here. If not, don't stop moving and I will see you soon.